Hey everybody, we're back with the snowman and in this video I'm going to show you how to put eyes on the snowman and we will have to do a little trial and error. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is decide what we want, what shape we want, and I'm going to choose a sphere. So I will pull out the sphere and if I render it, you probably won't even see it because it starts it at zero zero, which is right inside of the bottom um, snowball for our snowman. So we are going to have to translate it. So we're going to transform, get translate, and we'll need to pick an X, Y, and Z. Well, the Z I know, I can take the Z from the top snowball and use that to start. So what I'll need to do is I'll go into the top and I'll hit control click and I will expand the block and take a look at what my Z is. So my Z is 34 and 34 would get the center of the snowball. So we'll try 34. Um, my X and Y are 0, 0, 0, 0 will get me inside. So I need a larger number. So I'm just going to start with 10. And my radius I do not want as 10. I'm going to put that as 2 because the radius of the sphere for the head is only 6. So the eye would be bigger than the head. So now we can collapse that block again and test out our eye and actually before we test it out i think i'm gonna control click and name it i for when i collapse it uh i'll say left eye because i want two eyes and i want them individually to be named something different all right render um now you can see it's too far away from the snowman and actually i don't like the color so i'm going to give it a color of black and in transform is your color. And we've used that before. So I'll put that around the outside. And I'll change it and I'll make it black. So we can try it, make a change and try it is a good thing to do, even though we know we need to make another change. All right, so now I need to move that eye back in. So 10 is too far. So I'll put five for each of them and see how that looks. So, um, now I'm noticing that my Z, um, maybe could go up a little higher. I'm going to put that at 36 because it's right in the middle of the snowman. The eye should be a little higher. 36 isn't bad. Um, and I think if I zoomed in, it would still be a little further away. And actually it is a little big. So I'm going to change the radius to one. So you can see how the trial and error um, needs to happen with this. And that looks a little small for this snowman. So I'm going to try 1.5. And that looks pretty good. Um, I think it's not touching, though. If you look very closely, it's still not touching. So I did some more trial and error with this. And the X, Y, and Z that I found was um, actually, I think I liked 35 better for the Z. The Y, I found three worked really well. And the X, the five worked well. So what I'm gonna do um, next is render that. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna duplicate this because I need to make another I. So I will control click, duplicate. And I'll need to change some of the parameters. So I did a little experimenting and I took the Y of negative three. Um, obviously the Z, you're gonna want the same and the X would be the same as well. So I'm gonna render this. And that looks really well. Um, that looks great. So a couple things I wanted to show you. First is this button right here. I don't think I showed you that yet. If you click on this, it puts whatever model you have made back to the original position. And the other thing is this right here. This is a camera. So it will take a picture. It will not give you a 3D model, but it will give you a JPEG picture that you can share and use for things. So those are our nice little buttons. And the third thing that you need to know is save often because I don't think there's an auto save and you don't want to lose your project that you've done work on. And now that uh, we have finished, I can actually collapse these blocks and we're all set.